This is the best Dead by Daylight optimization and FPS guide that you'll ever need which will eliminate all of your lag and make your game run as smoothly as possible. I've gone through the top optimization guides and tested each one to find the best possible settings to use. So yeah, let's get into it. So firstly, we're going to want to change some settings in your game files. Don't worry, this is completely safe. To find it, press Windows key and R on your keyboard to bring up this box. Type in percent update to percent and hit enter. You'll be in the roaming folder so just press app data to go back then go to local scroll down to dead by daylight saved and then config for epic games is egs but for steam just go to windows note editor and now you'll need to find the game user settings before opening it make sure you right click go down to properties and then unticking read only apply ok just so you can actually edit the file and now you can go ahead and open that with notepad i'm going to open it with notepad plus plus just so it's easy for you guys to see right so once you're in here just come up here up to the top resolution quality just leave that on 100 if your pc can handle it you can turn this up a bit but if you set it to anything lower than 100 then your game will look horrible view distance quality if you have a decent pc then you can can set this to about one or two if your pc isn't very good then just set this to zero anti-aliasing quality just set this to zero for shadow quality obviously for good optimization just set this to zero or whatever your pc can handle Actually, if you set it to something higher, on certain maps, you can see the killer's shadow behind corners giving you an early advantage. But of course, this is an optimization guide, so just set this to zero for the best possible FPS. Post process quality, just set that to zero. Texture quality, set this to about one or two depending on your PC, but never set this to zero because once again, your game will look horrible. Effects quality, zero, and foliage quality also zero because you're not gonna be stood there looking at bushes. And then some of you might have shading quality and animation quality down here. For shading quality, just keep that on zero. And then obviously for animation quality, you don't want your characters being like 5 FPS, so just keep that on 3. That is it for this top section, so just come down here until you find it. B use vsync equals true. Just go ahead and set that to false. Basically what this does, it uncaps your FPS, so you're able to go higher than 60. Now come down here to frame rate limit, just set this to 0 so it doesn't cap your FPS. Audio quality level, set that to 5, as there are a lot of sounds in the game that you need to hear, and it just makes it sound a lot better. And now you're done with it, so just go file, save, and close out of that, and then right click, properties, and then read only. Therefore, your game doesn't change your settings back to what they were. Now for that extra FPS boost, come into engine, just open it the same way you did with the other file. I will leave this in the description or you can just type it out from what you see on the screen. But just copy and paste this at the bottom of your engine file. This will basically force disable anti-aliasing just to make sure that it doesn't be overwritten by any settings and it boosts your FPS heavily. And that is everything for this optimization guide in Dead by Daylight. If you need any extra help then please let me know in the comments and I'll help you out. I'll be making a video in the next couple of weeks on reshade and how to make your game look a hundred times better. So please make sure to subscribe to not miss out on that, it will help out a lot. And oh uh, yeah, peace out guys.